Helene here at King's MMA being joined by the one and only Mr. Benil Dariush. Now, always great to see you and happy belated birthday. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, what is it? It's been like 20 days, but yeah, thank you. Yeah. Still the same month. And I know your daughter's first birthday is coming up as well. Yeah, she's turning one, which um, it's really cool to see her grow up. But like part of me just wants her to stay little. When we first brought her home, I could literally hold her like this. She came out really tiny. She was like five pounds, uh, 12 ounces. She dropped right under five. And I, I we were literally holding her like this sometimes just, just to just to see how small she was. And uh, now uh, she's in the 90 percentile for height, like 70 percentile for weight. And every time we go to the doctor, we're like, doctor, are you sure? My wife's 4'11 four, four and a half. <laughs> I'm not that tall myself. So it's, uh, it's kind of a running joke at home. But already one and you still sing to her, right? Yeah, we've added new songs. We've added a couple of new songs. Uh, now she likes to dance and she does this thing with, hand, with her hands and, and like, it doesn't matter if you've known her for the whole year or if you just met her, it'll melt your heart every single time. I know, she is so cute and I'm glad to see she's doing well. Happy early birthday to her. And I know there's always so much going on with you and the lightweight division. Uh, I know a lot of your fans can't wait to see you back in there. But with everything that's transpired in your division recently, how confident are you that you'll get back in there against Islam? Uh, I was really confident right after Hoffa fought. I don't know if you guys remember, but Dana did some interviews and he said, oh, I want Islam and Daryush. And I was like, cool, that, that, uh, that guarantees me number one spot. Now that um, uh, with everything playing out the way it's playing, uh, there seems to be a big push for Islam and Charles. And uh, that kind of leaves me the odd man, uh, odd man out. And um, the, so I'm not super confident. But if that fight between Islam and Charles does happen, how do you see that playing out? It's hard to say because we've never really seen Islam under pressure with striking. Um, and, and Charles has the ability to do that. He's so offensive. He's 100% offense, which is really exciting to watch. Um, the question is going to be, is, can he take Charles down and can he be able to apply that pressure and, and, and uh, break him. Because if is, uh, if Charles is as ag aggressive as I think he's going to be, it's going to be difficult for Islam to close the distance, which makes things trickier. Um, if It's not that simple of an uh, equation. So it's really exciting uh, if the fight does happen. Obviously, I'd rather get the, uh, get the fight, but if not, I think it's a really exciting fight. Ah, man, I, I would lean towards Islam, but not by much, like by a hair. So when you do fight for the title, you think you'll be fighting Islam for the title? Yeah, but not not guaranteed. And then, yeah, I think Islam, uh, and if it's not for the title, we'll be fighting in Abu Dhabi. For you, you've been building up such a great resume, seven fight win streak. I mean, a lot of people are also putting you in that picture, though, for that title shot. So I think it's um, our community is like what have you done for me now, like lately? And so because I haven't fought in a year, people forget uh, when I beat Diego Ferreira, he was undefeated for like six years. He hadn't had a loss and he was like seven and oh or six and oh or something like that. Um, I, the guys I finished, Jakar Close never been finished before. Scott Holtzman never been finished before. I beat Tony when he was top five. So if we're looking at merit, I think um, I, I'm the guy that should get the title shot. But I understand our community. It's like, what have you done for me lately? Uh, so Michael Chandler is coming off a spectacular KO. It was, it was spectacular, no doubt about it. I know a lot of people are talking about technique or whatever, but it was, it was fantastic. And so because of that, he's, he's ahead of me now in the rankings. Uh, uh, it's, it really is just, what have you done for me lately? So I don't know. Well, Conor McGregor, he should be returning this year as well. Who do you think makes the most sense for him to return against? Um, the guys who want to fight him that makes sense, I think would be just based on his rankings. I think Tony makes sense. I think uh, Hoffa makes sense because I think Hoffa's seven and, and uh, Connor's number nine or yeah. something like that. So uh, Hoffa, Tony makes sense. If he wants to fight Nate Diaz, that makes sense because obviously it's going to be a big draw. These are the, the fights that make sense. But for him to get a title shot or even get a top five guy. It doesn't make sense to me in terms of uh, merit and uh, competition, but I understand uh, our, 
in our business money talks and and the guy brings in numbers so they'll I don't think they'll give him the title shot but they'll give him just about any other fight hopefully we'll all see you get back in there soon and for all your fans who can't wait what would you like to let them know Ah uh, man, it's go time. It's uh, I want to be back August, end of August or early September, and the the better the opponent, the 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 more satisfied I'll be with uh, with that. Like I, for me right now personally, if I if I had to pick, number one would be either Charles or Islam. Neither one has the title, but I think they're both championship worthy. So either Charles or Islam, and then after that, whoever. Like I think. Dustin Poirier is really good. I think uh, I, I think Chandler's uh, great. So hopefully soon.